The use of heavy backpacks can cause problems for people at a very young age. On average, people wear backpacks to school from ages 5 up to 18. If not worn correctly, people are likely to suffer from back pain and bad posture due to this problem. Naturally, shoulders were not designed to hang items on. When a heavy backpack is placed on a person's shoulders, muscles tighten and this can create a potential strain on a person's body. Heavy backpacks can cause a forward head posture. This can lead to neck and shoulder pain as well as making it difficult for muscles to hold the body up. The use of a heavy backpack can cause many problems to a person's lower back as well. By leaning forward, there is a change of posture to compensate for the weight of the backpack. This can lead to back pain as well as muscle tightness. This figure shows an example of a forward head posture caused by carrying a heavy backpack which is shown on the left hand side. And the figure on the right shows how someone should look with correct posture. There are many long-term effects of carrying a heavy backpack, some of which include strained neck and shoulders leading to headaches, damage to the spine, reduced breathing capacity due to poor posture, scoliosis, or back pain and muscle spasms. As shown in the figure, a backpack is best to be kept close to a person's back. This helps to alleviate back pain and to help the person's posture. Backpacks are valued at more than $2.7 billion and 58% of consumers own backpacks. They are just getting more expensive as manufacturers create more innovative designs within their backpacks and the average retail price of a backpack is around $40. However, many of the most popular backpacks sold in the U.S. do not offer much support for a person's back and or posture. Around 80% of Americans will suffer from back pain at some point in their lives and they spend at least $15 billion per year on back pain. This figure shows where we want to implement our technology in order to make our ergonomic backpack possible. In the part labeled as number two, we will have motors in order to pull up or down the straps. This will make them self-adjust to maximize the comfort when carrying a heavy backpack on one's shoulders. Finally, the parts labeled as number three are the pressure sensors. Once the user puts on the backpack, the sensors will determine if the weight is equal or unequal. Once that is determined, it will self-adjust the straps however it is necessary. We will provide delays so that the straps will not be continually self-adjusting. We also implemented a push button on the side of the backpack. When the user feels as if their backpack is not ideally positioned on their back, they would first press the button. The shoulder sensors would read the weight that is being carried on each shoulder, and based on those readings, the motors would release in order to create the best position on the, shoulder, on the user's back. This figure shows the backpack we use to implement our ergonomic backpack design. Next, we will show a series of videos that show the ergonomic backpack working as it self-adjusts the straps when one applies pressure to the shoulders. For our future work, we would plan on creating a lower back expander, as well as an app that would show you details about how you wear your backpack and how to improve your posture while wearing your backpack. We would also like to implement smaller motors on the backpacks, as well as make the backpack waterproof. Thank you for listening and I hope you enjoyed our senior design project.